going to see you down, man. That's why it's like, I got to keep moving. It don't matter. If I'm in the streets, I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be a lion. I'm going to lead the pack. If I went to school, when I went to school, I had the best grades, you know? I tried to do the best. I tried to be the best, man. You can't just dangle no opportunity in front of me, and I'm not going to take it, man. Like, maybe the situation with my pop, maybe it traumatized me, man, because I just want to go at everybody, but I'm finding out me, man. A lot of stuff is not worth it, man. We got to think positive. Just keep thinking positive, man, because, like, we're killing each other, man. The days, last days is near, man. We, we Muslim. A lot of us is Muslim. That's the old thing. We Muslim, man. What happened to the smiles and, and the smiles and heaven at the footstool of your mother, you know? My mom, she got, my mom ankles about this big, man. Swollen. She's stressing. It's like, I got to make it out for her. I'm not letting nobody stop me. Nobody can't stop me, man. Nobody can't stop me. You know how they going to stop me? They got to stop me by killing me, man. They not stopping me, man. I'm not going to jail for none of these dudes, man. I just want y'all to do the same, man. Everybody got to do the same. Stay out the way, make your money. That's what it's about. Like, I was supposed to die here a long time ago, man. For one little incident that somebody didn't think. Somebody didn't think. It's a trickle down effect. One person didn't think, and we ruined. Two families. Two families got ruined. It's December 23rd, 2012. Got out the car with my mom right here. Got out the car with my mom. Only to see blood right here. This is where my pop was buried. In front of my little brother, who's five years old. He's five years old at the time. I went into the store and he ran into my arms. My little brother ran into my arms. That's when I knew I had to be something great. Couldn't let nothing stop me. You know, the eyes say, the eyes say that I was supposed to go kill somebody. I just wanted to kill everybody, you know? But I gotta keep it going. I gotta keep it going, keep it moving, keep pushing, being the best me I can be. Like, I come from South Philadelphia, man. I grew up in all of that. Being the houses, you know? Having to sleep with a gun, because it was a hole in the wall. Watching out for raccoons, you know? Watching out, I'm in the jungle with the wolves. The wolves, I had to think smart and make decisions. That's what it's about, you gotta make decisions. And I wanna talk to the youth, like, cause y'all can do it too, man. I know y'all feel stuck, I know how I feel to be stuck. When your homie dies, like, you wanna go somewhere, but you can't go nowhere because, like, everybody wants you to ride. It's not about that, we gotta stick together, man. We're killing each other, we're killing the brothers, we're killing each other's family, man. Only people that suffer is the moms, the moms suffer. I'm saying my grandma suffering. My grandma tell me all the time, boy, you look just like your dad. You know, I know this video right now is probably gonna hurt it, but you know, it's to make her happy is all for a good cause, man. We gotta stick together, bring the community together, man. I used to want to die when that when the situation happened when my pop got killed. So the only thing that kept me believing was me. I had to believe that something great was gonna happen. I had to believe in God. I dropped down, I prayed, I made five salats every day, daily. You know, I gotta keep believing. You believe, I want y'all to believe, man. Everybody got a purpose in this world. I got a purpose. That's why I want motivation to speak, man. I got a purpose to share my story, man. To share with people. I know people going through the same thing. Everybody going through the same thing with you. You know, you ain't the only one. That's why I want to let y'all know. Y'all ain't the only one. I'm trying to change for the better. And it's like the only thing kept me believing. I used to want to die some days. When I ain't had no money, I ain't had no pop, no family. I'm saying that came around only had only had a certain amount of certain family members that came around they check on me and called me but it was like when I was by myself and I was high on perks every day it's the pop perks and perks sense every day I had to believe in myself man sometimes I hated myself like damn why you popping all these pills but it's like you gotta keep winning I knew one day I'm gonna do something great that's what I'm doing I'm still on that path I'm gonna do something great one day and I say I was supposed to die here a long time ago man Dad got killed in front of my little brother. He was five years old. I could have went. I could have got. I could have killed. I could have just did like what the eyes told me to do, man. The eyes tell you to do. They tell you to do crazy things and, and go to jail. Tell you to tell you to get high. It's like where I come from. Make me want to beat the eyes. Any opportunity that comes to me, man, I just go. I go get it. That's what I want. I want to inspire people to go get it. Like I know what you young boys going through. I know what your moms, what your mothers, and you. Aunts is going through and your grandmothers because y'all losing sons. We losing sons out here. We losing war. War on us, man. Mass incarceration. You know, mass incarceration. Percocet epidemic. Dope epidemic. Heroin epidemic. It's like, man, we all dying, man. We, we in the race. We in the race to death. We in the race to failure. 
it's like the old heads, the old heads in the community, man, we got to stick together. We need to stick together. It's like, because the young boys is watching us, the young the youth is watching us, they depending on us. So they only know what you see. If, you don't, if they don't have no father, if they don't have no father, who they look, who you think they looking up to? They looking up to y'all. Like, and, it, and it's like, man, we need these, we keep leading these young boys wrong, man. We shouldn't be doing that. We should raise them, tell them to go, go to school, man. Like, go to school, that's cool, man. We define cool. Just go to school, keep it up. I didn't, I didn't come up in a mansion, man. I came up in the slums, came up in the houses, was almost damn near abandoned. You know, where it was holes in the roof, you know. I had two pairs of drawers, and you know, that's why I go hard. It's not about the money, it's about me keep going. Because I could have let this neighborhood kill me. I could have let it kill me, but I'm not. You know, I want to just be an example for the young boys that's coming up after me. You know, I want to take it to where it first started, man. You know. Everything turned, everything took a left. It's just about me keep going, man. I'm not rich or nothing yet, but it's like, I'm gonna keep going, man. If people see opportunities, they don't take them. I'm not that type dude, I take opportunities. Anything come my way, man. I went to school, I would do whatever, man. It's like the jungle turned into a monster, and that's what it turned me to, man. But it's about keep pushing, it's about keep pushing, man. Like, I could have died out here, you know, I could have died out here, went to jail for life, you know, I could have got killed, man. I could have overdosed. This was, uh, this was happening in our environment, you know, but it's about keep pushing. That's all it's about, man. I come from this neighborhood, South Philadelphia, man. I come from out the, the slums, man, where it's overdoses, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the murder rate rising, you feel me? And you know what I'm saying I keep pushing, man. I didn't grow up, I didn't grow up with no, in no mansion or nothing, man. I, I just want to be grateful for everybody in the community, man, for the young boys that's watching. Let y'all know, man, I come from where y'all come from, man. Like, for all the mothers that lost their sons to gun violence, to, to, the, to the, the women who lost their brothers to gun violence, and you know, it's, it's, it's like it's a cycle, man. We gotta break the cycle. You know, we gonna we gonna be stuck in the same spot. You know what I'm saying I know how I feel. I've been stuck in this spot. I used to be feeling like I was stuck. You know what I'm saying I used to pop pop Percocets out here running around doing anything for money, man. It's like it's only leads you to a certain it leads you to a certain route, man. Like y'all gotta break out of that route. I want y'all to break out of that route, man. Like, if I could do it, y'all could do it too. I ain't rich or nothing, but it's my purpose. It's for me to talk to y'all, man. Like, you know, you know, this, this big girl right here, you know what I'm saying? One, one of the ones that's gonna make it out of here, you feel me? You, you could be other shit besides a motherfucking rapper, basketball player. You could be a businessman, entrepreneur. You feel me? This is what he doing. You feel me? You can write a book. You can motivational speak. You, you, there's other things you could do besides being a rapper or basketball player or drug dealer or killer. You understand what I'm saying?